So this is SAP Business One version 8.81. Uh, I've got the very latest version installed. And as you can see, I've gone ahead and I've just configured my cockpit. And what I've done is I've just set my richardduffy.com page as my homepage inside SAP Business One for my cockpit. But now what you're gonna notice here, I've gone and I've created a couple of other cockpits. I've created one called Social Media, one called BI On Demand, one called SharePoint, and one called User Training. So if I go and click on the, uh, the uh, Social Media cockpit, I use a tool called Hootsuite, which allows me to manage all of my social media capabilities. And what I've done here is I've embedded Hootsuite inside SAP Business One. So what I'm able to do is I'm able to quickly and easily come in here and access all of my social media. So inside SAP Business One, I can go in, I can access Twitter, so I can see all of my core information here, uh, all my tweets. I'm able to go and access my LinkedIn information, so I can see all my LinkedIn network updates, as well as, of course, all of my Facebook information. So when you're demonstrating SAP Business One, you can quickly and easily show how, without leaving the system, you're able to very, very simply dive in and get access to all your social media information. So if I wanted to send a LinkedIn message, I can come in here and I can specify which of my accounts I want. Do I want to send it from Twitter, LinkedIn, or Foursquare? Or do I want to send it on uh, from my SAP Business One page? Or even uh, from the SAP Business One starter package page, which I'm the administrator for. So I've got access to all that information. And then of course, I'm able to then even go in and using Hootsuite again, do all of my analytics. So I'm able to quickly and easily pop up inside SAP Business One, my, uh, all of my social media analytics, again, that's powered by Hootsuite, uh, again, pushing all of that information into SAP Business One. So we're getting that integration. Now, what I've also done, if I go in and look at my business partners, and I'll call up uh, Earthshaker, so I usually find the easiest way is just to scroll through here. And I look at my contact persons and I look at Bob McKensley. You'll see I've added some user-defined fields now where I'm also tracking Bob's Twitter handle, his Facebook name, and I can also create a, a, a LinkedIn profile there as well. What I'm also able to do uh, is I've gone and I've created some activity types. So now additional activities that I've got under other I've created some social media activities and I've got a Facebook post, a LinkedIn post, a Twitter exchange. Matter of fact, you can customize those to suit. So if there's a LinkedIn post that I wanna grab from Bob, I just choose LinkedIn post. I can choose the content. Uh, I can link it to a document, for example. Uh, I can save it as an attachment. I can save the web page, And then I've got full access to all of that record of that social media interaction that's occurring with Bob. So that's how I would quickly demonstrate that social media functionality within SAP Business One. So remember I also, in my cockpit, I've also created a BI On Demand cockpit. So by simply setting up a free BI On Demand account and then linking that again to a cockpit, I'm now able to go and do BI On Demand inside SAP Business One. So I can look at my data sets that I've created and I've created some data sets here already and if you wanna know how to do that, check out my videos on YouTube which will explain the process. So if I look here for example at sales analysis by item, all I do is I select that. I can see my data, I can refresh my data or I can just click here on explore and it will simply allow me to then open up uh, Business Objects Explorer inside SAP Business One give that a couple of seconds just to start up, and then I can quickly and easily start working through and exploring through my data. And now my visualization has opened up, so I'm able to start using BI On Demand and the Business Objects Explorer inside SAP Business One. So for example, right now I'm looking at sales amount, I might also want to look at gross profit amount, and I want to look at that side by side, and that's automatically going to update for me. 
All right, and then I'll say, I actually want that by item description. And then I don't want to do a side-by-side -side comparison. I actually want to see those as percentages in pie charts. So I can do that here, and there it is. There's my sales, sales value, and I can just hover over each of my items. Here's my server point 1000. I can see that's 13.9% of my total sales. My um, other is, uh, what's that, 26%. And then of course I can go over here, for example, I'm looking at my top 10, and I can say I don't want to see other values, and then you watch, this will disappear because I'm only interested in the specific products. And let's say for now I want to look at actually my top five. So I'll just select my top five. And now I'm looking at my sales and gross profit of my top five products with a complete legend over here. Then if I want to, I can go back here to my reports and data again. And by the way, once I've finished this and I've got this just the way I want it, I can save this as a custom visualization and then create my own dashboard. But I'm gonna show you that in another session. All right, so I'm back into my reports and data, into my data sets, and you'll see I've now got another one, which is sales analysis by customer, and I can explore that. Again, same scenario, takes me straight into the data set, loads up the, the uh, Business Objects Explorer for me, and now I can start doing my analysis here. And this is data that I've just taken straight out of SAP Business One. So you can see these are the standard customers that I'm looking at. So I'll see AR invoice by customer name. So I'm seeing the sum of the AR invoices by customer name. And let's say I wanna look at my gross profit by customer. So again, away I go. I'm looking at my gross profit by customer. I'll see that as a pie chart. There it is. I actually only want to look at my top five customers. So I'll go over here. And now I'm just seeing my top five customers by profitability here in SAP Business One. So that's another example how you can just demonstrate that BI on demand and that BI functionality inside SAP Business One. So what you'll also notice I've done is I also have a BI on demand link and a SharePoint link. So again, all I need to do is click on my SharePoint link and you can see it's taking me straight into my SharePoint site that I have already set up. Now this is my SharePoint site back in my uh, home server uh, setup, just the same using SAP Business One to access SharePoint running Windows Small Business Server 2011 and using the SharePoint functionality in there. So anything that I put in SharePoint, I can now access directly from inside SAP Business One. I've also created a user training cockpit and I've created this and I've linked it to uh, a playlist in YouTube. So all of my training videos I've put inside this playlist in YouTube and then link that in here. So as a partner, what can you do? You can create your very own customized training videos for your customers and then incorporate that into every single SAP Business One deployment you do. So a bunch of really cool things that you can do there to really extend out that functionality and do it all from inside SAP Business One.